In 2021, Disneyland came back. And so did cash bonuses for Disney executives. Bob Chapek's compensation increased to $32.5 5 million during his second year as Walt Disney Company as chief executive, the company said in a Wednesday regulatory filing, as the Burbank Entertainment Colossus returned to doling out non-stock bonuses to its top leaders. Chapek's pay package for fiscal 2021 more than doubled the nearly $14.2 2 million he earned during the prior year. Chapek's compensation last year included a $14 million bonus, on top of his salary of $2.5 million, which was up from his $1.81 million base pay in 2020. The Indiana native was also granted stock awards totaling $10.2 2 million in options valued at $3.75 million. During the prior year, his stock awards and options came in at $6.13 million and $3. 37 million, respectively. The remainder of Chapek's 2021 remuneration came from $1.36 million from a change in pension value and deferred earnings in $310.000 and other compensation. Disney executives did not receive non-equity incentives during fiscal 2020, a decision made during a year in which the company slowed through the COVID-19 pandemic that closed theme parks, movie theaters and cruise lines. Top leaders also took salary cuts during the pandemic. However, they did receive stock grants and options, which make up a large chunk of executive compensation plans at the company. During the first year of the public health crisis, Disney furloughed or laid off tens of thousands of employees, with major blows to its theme parks business. Many workers were able to return as parks reopened. Chapek was named CEO in February 2020, succeeding Bob Iger who had held the position for 15 years. Egger took on the role of executive chairman and continued to have a major influence at the company, overseeing its creative direction until he left the company at the end of last year. As Disney's leader, Chapek is tasked with growing Disney's top priority streaming businesses, including Disney+, Hulu and ESPN+, 